This is my next in the Trangia series, which is the Trangia 25, which is the bigger Trangia. I call it the, like the biggest one they do kind of thing, which is, uh, I, I, th I think they say like a two to four person stove. This is brand new one, used it a couple of times. This is the non-stick one. You can get a, a non-stick, a straight aluminium, but I do like the non-stick frying pan. And uh, this is, you know, quite a chunky, bit of kit and unfortunately they don't give you a little case to put it in these days you have to buy that separately so i'm gonna do uh, i'm gonna cook a bacon and egg sandwich i'm gonna try and do it all real time i'll speed up some bits if necessary now whether it's absolutely freezing cold in the uk at the moment it's minus god knows what although because the wind has died down today actually it's not too bad so you get a little strap to Keep your trangia all nice and closed up. So we'll just whip that off. I'm gonna put all the stuff I don't need here. Oh. Actually no, I'll put it there. So the first thing you get is the frying pan. And inside there's just a like a protective disc. Try and keep hold of that because uh, that is useful. Just gonna put that there so it doesn't blow away. Um, this is an optional extra, which is called their, their disc. It's um, a chopping board, a colander, and actually just a, like a, a, a plate to stand the thing on. And so that's that. I so say that's an optional extra. You've got the handle, same as in all Trangiers. So I'm just gonna lift out the kettle first. So in here we get a nice big kettle, not, not as cute as in the, le the uh, smaller version, but a nice big kettle. Um, and inside the kettle you'll find your burner in a bag, and keep it in the bag as well. So we've got that, Put that over there. I'll just get the burner out. It's a normal Trangia meth, meth burner, you'd normally expect. So I'm just gonna put that under there. And again, just keep a bit of kitchen paper in, just to keep everything, because it's non-stick. Um, you don't want these pans rubbing against each other. Right, so we've got two pans, both non-stick, nice and big. Um, decent sized bowls in this kit. So th this isn't a kit for uh, uh, going in a backpack as such. Um, I mean, it would go in a backpack if there was plenty of room, but it, this is more camping when you've got a little bit more space available. Um, and then we've got the uh, the stove itself. Now, these new ones, uh, Trangius, they actually lock on so you can lift up. The old versions didn't used to do that. Um, and so, very straightforward. The kettle goes on these little prongs and sits nicely in there. Obviously the bowls do as well. And then the frying pan, which is what we're going to be using today. So let's just tip all that out. Uh, that can be used as a lid. And when you use the frying pan, don't put the frying pan, I've seen people do this, don't put the frying pan on the top of that because there's no air circulating. You put your little legs up and then your frying pan sits nicely on there. Now, um, one of the things I like about the Trangia stove compared to other stoves is that it, it's a real stable base and if you do knock it it's very difficult to, to lose your dinner entirely you know that's quite a stable base and um, the way these work is wind goes through you put this into wind goes through there up the holes in there and that helps vent the uh, burner and get it going which uh, I ought to actually get going now because this um, now there's no way you'd light this just with a flame um, in this sort of temperature uh, it's just too cold for it um, got plenty in there to do what I'm going to do uh, so you'll be there with a the lighter all day so a little tip which I've um, I've shown people before I've always got a bit of tissue in the in the actual kit itself um, so you just need a little bit of tissue like that just a bit of tissue paper and, and then just roll it up into a, like a little sort of twiddle it into a matchstick or a wick there's a clue there and how we're going to light this okay now this is freezing cold as i say there's no way you'd light this just with a normal flame No. 
put that in there. And light the end of the wick. You won't be able to see that. Um, but what happens is the, the wick burns down, it heats up the flu fluid, the, uh, I'm using bioethanol spirit fuel, it's a bit cleaner. If you're using meth, just put 10% water in it and it cleans it up a little bit. And um, that, will, that will get going, no problem at all now. So I'm just gonna pop that on there. Like so, I'm just gonna hook that out. Right. Don't try this at home, just, just, just put that out. Right, so while we're just waiting for that to warm up, I am, as I say, I've got some, I've got some bacon and egg, and I've got some bread to put it in. I'm gonna have a bacon and egg sandwich. And uh, it won't take long for this to get going. Oh, that's still lit. My little bit of, uh, it's still, fire, fire. Quick, put that out. Anyway, you could leave that in there, but it just gets messy if you leave it in there. So I'll just, just whip it out and just try not to set fire to everything. Um, hmm. Right, so the burner's going going nicely now. Um, it's not, you know, fully venting, and as I said, there's no wind today, so it's not going to go roaring, but it's um, it's going okay. Uh, just go through the other little bits we've got on the stove. As usual with the transier, you've got your little simmering. People moan that this is a bit too loose, you, a bit too tight and it's difficult to use one-handed, but oh, it is what it is. It's a little simmering, you just bung it over the, the flame and it just reduces the flame down, you know, it's it's adjustable and to, for me, it works a treat. Um, my, my view of Trangiers is a bit like my view of Swiss Army knives. They're, they're fantastic things because they do, they're compact and they do lots of things really well, but they're um, a bit finicky, you know, it's not the easiest product to use. This isn't the best way of boiling water, it's not the best way of cooking, it's not the most efficient, um, but if you take into account all of those things and the compactness of it, it is a wonderful product. I, I absolutely love Trangiers. And I've got all kinds of different stoves, but these are still still my favourite. So let's get the frying pan handle. People, I've heard people complain about the handle works a treat, does what it says on the tin. Um, I don't know what there is to complain about the handle, but there you go, some people do complain about it, so to me it's no problem. So we'll just let that warm up a bit. I'm, I'm trying to do these, in, I will speed up some of this footage, but I am trying to do most of these cooking, this cooking series in real time. The point being is that People often say, you know, how long does it take to, to cook a dinner or how long does it take to boil the kettle or, you know, so by doing it real time, it just gives you a sense of, you know, am I going to be able to just spend the time faffing around with this or um, is it just not quick enough or, you, you know, it just gives you a better idea, I think, anyway, and you can always fast forward. Um, so that's getting nice and hot now. So this is non-stick, so I don't necessarily need oil, but um, to get the bacon going and that, I am going to put a bit of oil in. So just a, this is just a bit of um, sunflower oil, that's all that is. And I just take these, that lasts for about, I don't know, four or five dinners, that little bottle, that handy little thing. Um, so I'm going to get the bacon in. quite hot enough yet um, but that gives you a good idea of the size of the pan three rashers of bacon in there um, fill it up but obviously they'll shrink down Right, that um, burner, I can hear it um, starting to, it, it 
kind of vents and the little holes so it kind of works as like a burner in your in your house um, and that's just started venting so it's because it's so cold it's taken that amount of time so what I should have done really was left it um, so it's taken that amount of time to um, actually you know really start getting to the point where I should have put it on now uh, that's what I'm trying to say but um, as you can see we've got a bit of steam there now and um, this will very quickly go from oh my god nothing's happening to um, a real nice um, sizzle in fact it's starting to I can hear it sizzling it's starting to sizzle now uh, let's just come over here here we go So as you can see, we're cooking a treat now. Let's just show you the flame. You might be able to see, oh yeah, you can see the flame there going, going quite nicely now. So let's put you back over that lovely bacon smell now. Oh, yes. And the non-stickiness of this these pans seems very good. I've only used it a couple of times, but um, it, it definitely is non-stick and uh, seems to work quite nicely. Well, the sides of this is that's getting sort of too hot to hold now whereas but the bottom section that still stays cool i wouldn't suggest moving it around because if you spill the, the methylated spirits you won't see where the fire is because it generally burns quite clear Obviously with this kind of system you will find there, there may be a bit of a hot spot in the middle but um, what I found with the frying pan up high the, the flame sort of hits it and sort of flares out to the sides so it's, it's not too much of a problem but you will always get little hot spots in, the, in pans. What are you going to do? make a little space for my egg to go there. Because I'm putting this into a sandwich, I am going to split my yolk. It's controversial, I know. We can put the stove out now, so to do that, we just spun that on there, and that's uh, done. Get fat straight in my face. Last bit of bacon. And then we're gonna the egg on there as well. Bosh. Yeah. 
Ooh, absolutely perfect. And that egg is still nice. The yolk of that egg is still nice and runny. Look at that. Fanta. Mm. Fantastic. So there you go. That's a bacon and egg sandwich done on the in real time on the Trangier 25 stove. I think it's a fantastic stove. Gives you a little bit more room in the pans, uh, which is nice over the smaller one. The smaller one, the 27, is great if you're backpacking and that. Um, but this one, I just think the extra space, if you can fit it in your pack or however you do, I think this is a great option. Uh, absolutely well chuffed. A bit of kitchen paper in there, good old wipe over, put it all away, no problem at all. Brilliant. Uh, so anyway, this has been GRVO TV, G's Reviews, Views and Opinions. I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh. Mm.